Today, we're so excited to be hosting one of the first major Filecoin events ever in Paris, this stunning city where we've seen so many transformations take place. Phil, Paris has been ongoing throughout this entire week with a number of ecosystem events from Filecoin Unleashed, which took place yesterday, um, uh, two days ago. We also had Crypto Econ Day yesterday, uh, and we also have so many more exciting events ahead. The Filecoin network base has served as your home base for co-working, networking, and all things Filecoin. And today we're shining the spotlight on our key network contributors, our developers, our storage providers, as well as our builders to really celebrate the amazing projects in development across the Filecoin ecosystem. So stick around to hear teams share their achievements and show you how to get started to build on Filecoin. Um, so I wanted to welcome my founding, uh, my fellow founding officer, Megan, to the stage. And we're here to talk about how Filecoin Foundation provides a strong foundation for devs and storage providers at every stage of your journey into the Filecoin ecosystem. And on the first day, um, Today, we're going to give you a talk with a 30-second introduction on the Filecoin Network and Filecoin Foundation. So many of you guys here already know this, but what is Filecoin? Filecoin is a peer-to-peer -peer network to store files with built-in economic incentives to ensure files are stored reliably over time. The mission of the Filecoin Network is to create a decentralized, efficient, and robust foundation for humanity's most important information. And the Filecoin protocol serves as the incentive layer for the interplanetary file system. IPFS, as many of you guys know, is a set of peer-to-peer -peer protocols for addressing, routing, and transferring content address data in a decentralized file system. The Filecoin mainnet launched in 2020 and now consists of 13 billion gig gigabytes of data storage capacity provided by 3,500 storage providers all around the world. Um, many of you guys here in this room are part of that community. Um, and so I'm gonna turn it over to Megan to share more about the mission of the Filecoin Foundation. Awesome, thanks, Gaia. Okay, so what is the Filecoin Foundation? We are not just a group that throws amazing parties on boats. Um, we are the long-term stewards of the Filecoin network. Um, you know, we really model ourselves after the tradition of other open source software foundations like the Apache Foundation and the Linux Foundation, and also other Web3 foundations like the Ethereum Foundation. Uh, the Filecoin Foundation uh, facilitates governance for the Filecoin Coin uh, network, and we fund research proje projects uh, and development projects for not just the Filecoin network, but for decentralized web technologies in general. Uh, and we also run projects to grow the Filecoin ecosystem. Our really core mission is to build public public infrastructure that allows for a network of small businesses to operate uh, as a cloud storage layer. Uh, that lets us rebuild the internet in a more privacy-focused way to pull power out of the hands of big monopolies like Amazon and Google. And our end goal is to have a store for humanity's most important information uh, so that we can protect all of the knowledge that humanity has created in a redundant and reliable way. Uh, another part of the Filecoin Foundation is the Filecoin Foundation for the Decentralized Web, which is our nonprofit arm uh, that promotes the growth of the distributed web as a whole. One of our biggest missions is to offer resources and support for developers, hopefully developers who are either watching this on the live stream or are here today, to build things on the Filecoin network. And so I'm really excited to tell you a little bit more about some programs that we have going on. Um, so one thing that we do is we do network bases, like the one that you're seeing here today. Uh, this is meant to be a hub for learning, for collaborating, to bring our ecosystem partners together. Over the last year, we've hosted uh, network bases in, in Lisbon, in Denver, in Hong Kong, in Austin, here. We're going to have one in Istanbul later in the year. And so we really you know, want to bring the community together and inspire each other to find out what things you're able to do with Filecoin that you might have not been thinking about before. Um, 
Another program that we run is our Dev Grants program. So we give financial support to teams uh, who are building applications on Filecoin, as well as building tooling that makes the Filecoin network easier for developers to use. This last year, we gave over $4 million uh, in grants to over 115 teams. Um, some some highlights, uh, MetaPals, which is an adorable, um, like, uh, generative card game on the Filecoin network, and Gain Forest is a pretty game-changing uh, way of using Filecoin and AI to be able to look at, uh, you know, add more trust and transparency to the carbon offset market to make our world a little bit greener. Whoop. That direction, okay. Uh, we would love for anybody who's either here or anybody on the live stream to go look at the Open Developer Grants in our GitHub and learn more about the grant programs that we ha have going on right now because we would love to bring more people into the network and to sponsor events that you're doing, uh, sponsor new applications that you're building or sponsor tooling that you think is going to make Filecoin more usable. Um, if you're interested in building on the Filecoin um, virtual machine, you should also check out our FVM microgrants program. Another way that we try to bring builders and developers into our ecosystem is through hackathons. So we've helped judge, mentor, and support builders at over 13 hackathons so far this year, uh, encouraging people to develop anything from NFTs and metaverse apps uh, using both IPFS and Filecoin. Uh, also building tools that enhance cross-chain functionality, um, especially with the launch of our Filecoin virtual machine earlier this year. HackFS, um, Filecoin's largest annual hackathon, drew in more than 200 projects and 840 people this year. And uh, we would love to grow that even more next year. So anybody watching the live stream, please go over and visit us uh, and learn how you can get involved in one of the many, many programs that we have to bring developers into our network. In addition to our amazing developer uh, community, and you know, Filecoin is one of the most actively developed Git point, Git, uh, GitHub projects out there. We are also very much supporting our global storage providers all around the world. And our storage providers are a key part of our ecosystem. The best way to think about our storage provider network is a network of entrepreneurs running their own data centers. And uh, there are around 3,500 of them today, around 44 different countries, and they store a combined 13 billion gigabytes of capacity in the network. If you look on the map on my right, you'll actually see the logo for CID Gravity, which is one of our amazing storage providers here in Paris. And they are actually storing critical information right now, working with storage providers in China around storing NASA data. And so there are so many examples of this amazing community that we're able to interact, communicate, and also uh, collaborate with all around the world. And so we've also uh, made sure that our storage for our community have the resources to achieve their valuable business on the network. And CID Gravity is a great example of one of these cross-global collaborations. Another example I wanted to share is one of um, our favorite programs out there is called ESPA, or DESPA, um, which recently launched in Asia. ESPA is the Enterprise Storage Provider Accelerator, which is an intensive seven-month boot camp to quickly ramp on participants into the high-impact network of Filecoin storage providers. We're actually having ESPA right now here in Las Vegas, and so there are some people on our team over there right now. ESPA um, is run virtually with experts from Filecoin Foundation, Protocol Labs, and also many other uh, companies within the ecosystem to finish uh, and make sure that the group of storage providers that are learning how to do business on Filecoin can have a co-working week and also an in-person time. We've already actually completed seven of these ESPA boot camps, and the eighth one is actually taking place in Las Vegas this October. And so if you guys are interested in ESPA, please go to web3espa.io um, because they are accepting new applicants. I also wanted to highlight DESPA, which is a storage provider bootcamp um, that 
just took place um, in Hong Kong. And this was launched around March of this year to make sure that we can prioritize representation and understanding among our APAC storage providers. Um, so we had around 25 teams participate and were able to also regionalize a lot of our content in Chinese and other Asian languages. Um, the other uh, area I wanted to highlight is uh, our DSTOR conference series. So uh, earlier this year in Hong Kong, we hosted Filecoin uh, Hong Kong alongside uh, Filecoin DSTOR Hong Kong, which is our storage provider conference series to make sure that we can highlight the best storage providers in our network and also the latest tools that are coming out of Filecoin Foundation and Protocol Labs. And during this time, storage providers were able to learn about the latest with Filecoin Virtual Machine. Um, they were able to hear from Juan and other leaders across the Filecoin network. And we had over 580 attendees um, and had one of the most attended site events during the Hong Kong Web3 Festival. So this was within the main conference venue, but it was absolutely packed. And so one thing that we're hoping to do later this year is have more examples of things like DStore. And uh, that is why, mark your calendars, we will be having um, an upcoming event that will be announced more similar to this in Las Vegas this October. Uh, for those that are not builders or storage providers, or you might be a community activist, you might just be passionate about Filecoin, uh, one way to get involved is our Filecoin Orbit program. I'm so sorry this graphic is not loading, but um, the Filecoin Orbit program is a way for you to get your network and your local community uh, thinking about decentralized storage. And we have over 80 volunteers um, across, we have volunteers across 80 countries that have hosted community events to date. So far we've had 115 of these events. We just wrapped one event up last night. And so if you're someone that loves to bring people together to talk about different topics, to host workshops, to really uh, share the, the, the Filecoin message and also teach others how to come on board to the Filecoin community, we would love to talk. Um, you can search Filecoin Orbit and um, definitely make sure that you apply or you can look for Robert who is is here in this room and also the MC for today uh, to learn more about it. I'm going to turn it back to Megan. <laughs> awesome. Thanks so much, Clara. And uh, thanks, everybody, for being here and listening. Uh, if you're interested in any of those things, please find myself, find Clara, find anybody with a Phil Paris shirt on, and we can get you resources. Go to any of those websites that I mentioned um, or Clara mentioned during our talk today. And now I would love to hand the mic over to our very own Robert Dowling, who's the very best, and I'm going to ask as our MC for the rest of the day.